Hello friends, welcome to TechDose and in this video I will be talking about anonymous variable. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel then please do so for more tech videos and video lectures. So let us get started. I will be giving you an example in order to make you understand the use of anonymous variable. Okay, suppose my name is Oswald. Okay, and I want to know if anyone among my family hates me. Okay, if any any member of my family hates me, I want to know this. So, how do I write it in prologue? If I write hates x, the variable name x and Oswald, then what this would produce is that this will give me x is equals to some name. Suppose my father. Then this would denote that my father hates Oswald that means my father hates me okay because my name was Oswald <laughs> so suppose I give you a database here hates father it will be a small f otherwise it will become a variable father comma Oswald hates mom comma neighbor because my mom always hates the neighbors so I am giving this <laughs> Suppose in the database I have these two things and I want to know who hates Oswald. Okay, so I will write hates x comma Oswald and the value of x will come out to be father because my father hates Oswald. Okay. And next, if I want to know if anyone hates Oswald without knowing the name or without revealing the name, then how do we write it? We will write it hates underscore comma Oswald this underscore is an anonymous variable okay and the result will come out to be true because there is someone who hates Oswald so this anonymous variable is very useful in these type of cases where we don't want to reveal the name who hates Oswald but we want to say that there is someone who hates Oswald okay so in these type of situations we use anonymous variable and one anonymous variable is always different from another anonymous variable okay so this should be kept in mind one anonymous variable is different from another anonymous variable so I hope you must have understood the case where we should use anonymous variable and the case where we should use variable because variables will always be initialized to some value and the result will be equals to that value the value of x will get printed but in anonymous variable they will just see if it is true or false and will give the output as either true or false okay if I write loves underscore comma Oswald and since we don't have any such predicate then this will come out as false because it will be the prologue will be matching it with the first one the second one the third rule and since it is not matching with anyone so it will be false okay this will come out to be false next we shall see a program illustration of this video let us now see the coding of anonymous variable so I will be opening the SWE prolog then I will go to file and then click on new and I will just write the file name as anonymous variable okay anonymous variable dot pl and I will just save it now the editor should open yes and here I will give some rules suppose I write hates Mary comma Jane that means Mary hates Jane next I write hates Gian comma Nobita this is from the Doraemon cartoon I hope you like it and the next is hates mom comma neighbor I already told you that my mom hates neighbors so this is it let me give some other rules as well hates Dawson comma Oswald okay next I shall write hates David comma bowling David hates bowling in cricket game I'm referring to cricket 
now I write hits Harry comma Oswald and the next I write hits uh, Weenie comma Trot okay oops Weenie comma Trot just for the sake of understanding and now we will just save it control s and then compile it compile the buffer yes it has been compiled i think let me see yes it has been compiled and now we can give our question okay so i want to know who hates oswald who are the ones who hates oswald so i will write hates x comma oswald so in variable x the values will be stored and i give an enter and x is equals to dawson why why because the matching will be done from the first line starting from the first line first line is not matching second is not matching third is not matching and fourth one is matching so it has stopped here and the output is dawson if we give a semicolon then some other outputs who are matching and are below this line will also be shown like if we give semicolon then x is equals to harry is also shown and then after harry there is no such output and so it is exiting the output section okay now if we want to know if there is anyone who hates oswald without revealing their name without revealing their identity then we will give hates underscore comma oswald and then we give a full stop and press enter and it's showing that it's true there is someone who hates oswald if we give a semicolon then it is again showing true because there are two persons who are hating oswald okay so we here we can see that there are two persons who are hating oswald so we can make a count of it that two persons hates oswald without revealing their name so they will be saved okay so these all things may be used in survey kind of things where we don't reveal our name but we give our true opinions okay so i hope you like this video about anonymous variable and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel then please do so and in the comment section write the videos which you want to see next if you have any problem then please comment below and see you in our next lecture till then goodbye